Hiya, my name's Simon Mole, and I'm a poet. But by the end of this video, you will have written a poem. And all you need to get started is your favourite word. It doesn't really matter what the word means, it's more about selecting a word which you like the sound of. Goggles. Umbrella. Hullabaloo. You might want to try a few out loud first. Spaghetti, avalanche, donut, dusk wallet, bash dollop, blubber, zip. Okay, if you haven't already said a word out loud, then try one now. Cool. So, grab yourself a pen and some paper. Write the favourite word that you've picked at the top of your page. Pause the video for a second if you need. And once you've done that, hit play again and we'll get started. Okay, your favourite word, whatever that is, is now the name of a character. I might pick blubber or dusk. But what does the sound of the word that you've picked tell you about that character? What does it make you think about how they might look? I think that blubber sounds kind of slow or wobbly, but dusk is a short sound because of the k at the end. It makes me think of a skinny character who might sneak in in a cloak and then disappear quickly. So what does the sound of your word make you think about how your character looks? Pause the video for a second, note down a few ideas or a short sentence or two, and then hit play when you're ready to get going. Next up, eyes. I think that Dusk's eyes are blue, but I'm gonna to need to be as specific as possible. So probably a soft grayish blue. If you're thinking about your character's eyes, maybe there's something that you could compare them to. She had tiny little eyes like frog spawn. Okay, so note down a few ideas about your character's eyes. Pause the video while you do so, and then when you're ready to roll on to the next prompt, hit play. Next up, what does your character's breath smell of? If you're stuck for ideas here, you might want to think about what they enjoy eating or drinking. I think that Dusk's breath smells of bonfire smoke or hot chocolate. So pause the video for a second whilst you note down your ideas and then hit play when you're ready to get started. Because now we're going to think about how they move. Is it fast like a ninja or wiggling like a fat squirrel stuck in a tree? I already said that I think Dusk disappears quickly, but I want, want to add a little bit of detail to that. I could say she disappears quickly like your breath in cold air or like a good idea in the middle of the night. Cool. I like that one. So I'm going to write that down. You get your thoughts down, pause the video whilst you do so, and then hit play when you're ready to start again. Next up, what does your character's touch feel like? Is it warm, soft, sweaty? I think that Dusk feels like a soft feather on the back of your neck, or a wet feather even, I'm not sure. So I'm going to note down some thoughts around that. You do the same. Press pause whilst you do so, and hit play when you're ready to move on to the next prompt. Okay, so, what is your character carrying? This could be an object, like a set of keys, or a football, or it might be an emotion, or perhaps a combination of the two. So I think that Dusk is carrying a suitcase full of sadness. Pause the video whilst you do your ideas, and then hit play when you're ready to start. Finally, what does their voice sound like? Is it low, high, husky? I think that Dusk probably speaks in a bit of a whisper. And once you've got an idea about how they sound, 
Try and think of something that they might say. Don't waste your time looking for me. Okay, so pause the video while you get your final notes down. And then when you're ready to get started on putting the poem together, hit play. Okay, so the good news is you've done the hard work now. It's time to make your poem. Read back over your notes, the writing that you've already done. Pick out some of your favourite bits and arrange them in an order that you think will sound good. What I love about reading or listening to poetry is that I get to make connections myself. So don't worry if you're not writing in full sentences and you definitely don't need to think about having a beginning, a middle and an end like you might need for a story. So I've gathered up my notes. I'll read you now what my little poem about dusk might sound like. Uh, dusk sneaks in, soft greyish blue eyes, a suitcase full of sadness, a wet feather on the back of your neck. She disappears quickly like a good idea in the middle of night. Don't waste your time looking for me. Once you've finished your poem, I'd love to read it. So maybe you can type it up or get someone else to type it up for you and then put it in the comments at the bottom of the video. Thanks so much for joining in today. If you've enjoyed it and you'd like to subscribe to the channel, then the link's over here. See you next time.